Welcome to Fallout 76, this is Jim. Once in a while we get a daily. Claim a workshop, one, for 250 score. Now if you watch my channel, you'll see me claim workshops in the past. So this video is more so for the brand new players. Uh, I know there are quite a few people that watch my channel that are brand spanking new. They might not know, but uh, for everyone else, it's pretty much general knowledge. So when you go on the map, you'll see these little icons on the map, and these are workshops. We can't fast travel to them because we don't own them yet. And one thing the game that uh, does that's kind of weird, that even if you go on the map and there's no players near those uh, icons, like if I go down here, for example, it won't show till last minute if someone else has claimed it. Sometimes it does, like right here, and sometimes it doesn't. I find... It, I don't know if it's a glitch or, or what it is, but it happens a lot to me anyway. Um, the best place to places to go that I find is right here at Billings Homestead. It's a nice big field, and there's usually a couple of uh, ghouls in that house, so that one there is fairly easy. Uh, another good place to go is right here at the Tyler County Dirt Track. Um, even though the area is a little bit bigger, um, there's only usually maybe a half a uh, half a dozen enemies around. But there are some times when you come up to a uh, workshop, sometimes you'll be able to claim it right away because there's no enemies nearby. All right. So we're right up here at Hemlock Holes. Maintenance. And uh, we're going to see what happens here. Claim the workshop. So claim the workshop, Hemlock Holes, maintenance. So there we go. So I have not come here. I didn't clear the area. It's already somewhat been cleared or there's no enemies here at all so i'm able to claim this workshop right off the hop this may not happen for you you might have to clear the area so unowned workshop claim it's normally 25 caps uh, in my experience if you see it more than 25 caps maybe there's like a, a turret or some traps around that were left behind by someone else because as soon as you leave the server uh, another player can claim that same workshop and your stuff can, you know, will still be there unless you, uh, uh, scrapped it all. Alright. Once when you claim the workshop, you can build stuff. It costs the same as it would, uh, build in your camp. But, uh, another good thing about claiming workshops is it counts as an event. So if you wait around for a minute or two, or even if you fast travel somewhere else, There'll be a period of time will go by and you'll have to defend the workshop. And that will count uh, towards uh, completing an event if you're successful. So there we go. We completed that daily. Pretty simple. Claim a workshop one for one. Uh, as I said, right up here, hemlock holes maintenance, pretty good. But as I said, you know, sometimes you can come here and there might be a few enemies around. You know, one, maybe six. And you just got to clear that area before you can uh, claim it. Now, there are some workshops that are a little bit harder. Um, I claimed a workshop over here maybe a few... Maybe last week, the week before, I did a video on it there. This converted mu uh, munitions factory. It's a very big building. There's about five or six levels, and there's an outside. And I find that uh, particular workshop is a little hard to cover if you're just by yourself because it's such a big area, and there's a lot of crammed nooked and crannies inside that building. So, But yeah, there you go. Here's that event popping up. Hope you enjoyed the video. Please like, subscribe, and share when you have the chance. It really helps me out. And I hope you all have a nice day.